Hi, so in this video we're going to find an equation of a tension plane to the surface of the form z equals f of x, y. So uh, this means that we're finding the, the plane of a, of a, that is going to touch the surface at one point and, and basically that has the partial derivatives um, out of the function at that point as or they span the plane or they lie on the plane. So the form of the tangent plane uh, is this, is z minus z0 equals the partial of f respect to x evaluated at the point that you're standing on uh, times x minus x0 plus the derivative of the partial with respect to the other variable y also evaluated at the point um, y minus y0. And the reason of this is because um, if you erase uh, this this term, for example, let me copy and put it back in there. Let me copy and, um, and cut. So this is the equation of a line, right? Y minus Y zero equals M X minus X zero. This is the slope. And what this is doing is this is, this is finding the tangent, um, tangent line. So this is one of the tangent lines. And if you do, when I include the other one, that's the other tangent line. If now you disappear this term, right? So uh, these are the two lines that span. I was talking about that span that plane. Uh, and if you, we're gonna, I'm gonna graph this carefully in a minute. But uh, if you are familiar with this, what the surface looks like, um, this is a surface that I'm gonna do very small here in the corner. Uh, has um, if you put z equals constant, and you solve for this, you will have um, is squared plus y squared equals, um, I'm going to move it over there, so it has 9 minus k, right? So I'm in this corner over here, sorry. This means that for, 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 for k, when z is k and k is, k is greater than 9, there is nothing, there's no curve, because these are circles, right, centered at the origin. But the level surfaces of our first values of k uh, are going to be circles. So if k is negative, it's fine. You're going to be adding it and changing the sign, right? So when the z equals k is negative, this gets bigger. At k equals zero, you get a circle of radius three here. And over here, you see a smaller circle and a smaller circle. So this is going to be this problem like that. So it's not perfect, but this is at nine. And each of these, you see different circles, correct? So what we're doing is finding the tangent plane to this, which is going to be a plane somewhere at a point around here, and finding the tangent plane like that. So I'll show you a graph of this exactly in a minute when we're done with this. So this is the, the form that a, that a tangent plane, the question of tangent plane has. Um, so all we need to do is find the partial derivatives. So let's go for it. Um, at this point, if you want to be sure to know what's going on, x0, y0 is the point I'm saying, the 1 comma 2. That means that my z0 is my f. When you plug in the x0, y0, so the 1 comma 2, so it's 9 minus 1 squared minus 2 squared, so it's 9 minus 5, so it's a 4. So z is um, 4, z naught, x naught is 1, y naught is 2. So let's find the partial derivatives. So the partial derivative of f with respect to x, I'm taking the partial derivative of this up here. So only taking this part, the other terms are constants uh, when I take the derivative with respect to x. So this is just negative 2x. The partial derivative of f with respect to y, now I'm finding uh, the partial derivative only of this term because the other ones are constants when I'm thinking about the y's, so it's just negative 2y. Correct? Now I'm evaluating these at the points, uh, evaluate at the 1, 2, which this is just negative 2, the partial of f with respect to y evaluated at the 1, 2 just negative uh, 4, and my z0 I already found it was positive 4. So there you go. All we have to do now is find, this, uh, talk about this equation, and plug this thing values in. So my plane is going to be z minus 4, right, z minus z0, equals the partial derivative of f with respect to x. So that part is this part. So I get a negative 2 times 
x minus x0, which is a 1, then plus the partial graph respect to y, so that is this one, which is this one, the value at the point, so this is negative 4, I'm going to put a parenthesis, times y minus 2, and that's it, right? So I need to see this as an equation of a plane, so let's distribute a little bit. z minus 4 equals negative uh, 2x plus a 2 minus 4y plus an 8. And so this is already a equation of a plane. You can write it in different ways. Because I want to graph this, I want to have this all for y, sorry, for z. So I'm going to have negative 2x minus 4y. Then the 2 and the 8 is uh, 10. And I'm going to be adding the 4, so it's plus 14, correct? So this is my question on my plane. I'm writing it like this because, like I said, I'm going to plot it in a minute, but you don't need to have it written as well for z usually. Okay, so let's see if this makes sense. Um, so I have my function up here and my plane down here. So let me go to this other app that I have over here kind of ready. So let me delete this is incorrect, so let me delete that. Um, let me show you what I have. So this this is the parabola that we had. I have that in f. So f is 9 minus x squared minus y squared. And in my function g, I'm going to add the one that I had. That's why I had it so for z, just so that I can add it here as a function. So z is negative 2x minus 4y plus 14. I'm going to put uh, negative 2x minus 4y plus 14. And then press equal sign, and there's the plane that's tangent to the surface. So if you circle this around, there is a tangent at a point. Um, I couldn't find how to graph a point on this thing, but if you if you do it in somewhere else, another software, you can also graph the point and see that this is a surface that's touching at the point 1, 2, comma, 4. Okay, so that's my first example of a tangent plane to a surface. I'll do another video with another one.